Hey guys, Doug from Pine Tree Line, and if you like outdoor content, you come to the right place. All kinds of different stuff we do on the channel, all to do with the outdoors. If there's something that interests you, uh, please consider subscribing. Today we're having a look at using a compass. For a beginner, using a base plate type compass, because uh, that's the one I'm familiar with using. So basically why you'd want a compass is often um, you have your cell phone with you, which you can have a compass on, uh, and Google Maps, what have you. You can also have a GPS with you, which is something else that is very useful uh, in the backcountry as well. The problem with these tools is uh, sometimes battery becomes an issue if you don't have uh, spare batteries or if your batteries aren't charged, you don't have a, uh, a charger of any kind. That could turn out to be a huge issue. Uh, the other issue, especially with the GPS, is uh, severe cloud cover, uh, tr severe tree cover. Uh, I know in a trip that we made, uh, to the highest point in Ontario, Ishpatina Ridge. It got to a point where we can no longer use the GPS. There's too much tree cover. And thankfully, I had this actual compass with us and I used the compass, uh, taking bearings at various points. So I knew what general direction we had to go in. Uh, it was leaving that we ran into the problem with tree cover. We lost the trail. Um, it was a marked trail and we kind of got turned around a little bit. But I knew from taking compass readings on the way in, uh, that we had to get uh, east and we'd meet up at the trail at some point and that's exactly what happened. So trust it. It's uh, it's a great tool. It's not going to fail you. Uh, the only thing that's going to fail you is if you use it improperly. So let's have a look at how uh, we use this. Uh, up at the top here we have an arrow and that's your direction of travel arrow. Then we have uh, the compass itself which has a bevel that turns. Uh, we have uh, the cardinal points, east, south, north, and west. We also have an arrow in here that points uh, to magnetic north. We have uh, degrees. We also have an area that we call a shed. Now, in this particular um, compass, it doesn't look like a shed. It's very clear where the shed would be, uh, as it's uh, pointed out with two green lines. And we'll get to that when we have a look at how we're going to uh, use the compass. But those are kind of the parts of the compass. Usually comes with a string, so you can have it around your neck. You can also use the base plate model for use on a map, which I'm not too familiar with, so I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just strictly using this as a direction to travel uh, when you're uh, in the woods. There's two kinds of ways of using uh, this compass, in my opinion, the way I would use it. First of all, it's traveling in a certain direction, whether it's a landmark or just, uh, you know, uh, I know a creek is behind me, I wanna get to that creek. So I'm gonna point the arrow to the creek. And when I point the arrow to the creek or to the landmark, um, I'm going to put the arrow that's pointing magnetic north into what they call the shed. In this case, with this particular one, it's uh, green lines. So I got it pointing, I got it into the north section. Uh, my direction of travel is going to be at about uh, 260 degrees, it looks like. And I know, uh, judging from this, that anywhere from me, from myself to the point, um, the landmark, I want to be traveling at 260 degrees. So I also know uh, when I look at 260 degrees, the opposite, about 80 degrees. So when I'm looking at the compass, I'm also, I'm taking my bearing, I'm maybe taking a picture of it or I'm just remembering it. And then I know I have to come back when I come back at 80 degrees and I'm going to use the same formula uh, to do that. I'm also, seeing as though I'm going this way, I'm going to turn my body this way because I know that that's the direction I have to travel in. So I'm going to face my entire body, not just turn the compass itself, I'm going to face my entire body to the direction I want to travel. The other way of using it is, say I just want to head west. West is in line with the arrow. And when I'm going to turn my body until it gets to that the north is in the shed, so to speak. And that's right about there. So I know that west is that way. So I also know if I'm traveling west, I have to come back and travel east to get back to my point of origin. So that's a great way of, uh, you know, reminding yourself it's always the opposite. And of course, the opposite of west is east. So we just want to make sure that the needle is in that shed in the two green areas on this particular compass so that we know it's actually west. Uh, some other things you want to remember, you want to kind of keep the compass away from you. Uh, if you have any magnetic uh, things on your body, like, you know, speaker from your cell phone, uh, stuff like that, you want that away from the compass because that can change uh, the direction of north, which can really screw things up. So you want to hold it away from you. You want to hold it flat, uh, pointing in the direction that you want to travel. 
or again lining up the, the direction that you're intending on going uh, with the arrow itself and then getting that red needle into uh, what they call the, the shed and in this case the two green lines. Anyways guys that's a really basic overview of how to use a compass. Um, look on YouTube there's a ton of videos on, uh, on how to use different kinds of compasses and you know even how to use a base plate uh, compass on a map what have you if that stuff interests you but what I do recommend in the modern age is that you still carry a compass and when you do I think the best way of doing it is just a, taking a basic reading and at least you'll have an idea where you have to get to uh, to get to where you're going it also saves you when you want to get back to where you came from um, it's good to have a compass with you anyways guys thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't and I really appreciate your support and uh, yeah, that's about it. Take care, guys.